right, guys, we're back with another video today. We're going to take a look at the SoSo -So Toys Green Vigilante. And I'm actually pretty excited for this one because uh, I've been, you know, adding some other non Star Wars and Marvel characters to the collection room, including the upcoming uh, 3 0 Snake Eyes. That video will either have already dropped or is getting ready to drop. I don't know. But uh, stay tuned to the channel for that. But we do have the Green Vigilante from SoSo -So Toys. I'll just kind of give you a close up look at this box. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Pretty nice, nice little photography going on there. Nothing super crazy on that front, uh, but there it is, Green Vigilante SST-019. And uh, on the side, it says the Green Vigilante. And then on the back, we got a whole bunch of stuff. There's that. So you're not here to look at the box. Let's see what the figure's all about. Let's open this thing up. If you are enjoying this type of content, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, that would be amazing. Looks like we've got some uh, some instructions. Got some instructions. Please do not scratch the silver pin button on the battle suit. The archery shoulder belt will require collectors to wear it on by passing the belt through uh, that area. So, all right. So there's instructions. Let's take a look at some of that in just a second. We've got a nice uh photo not as good as the box art but that's a that's okay we're not here for that and then we've got all this stuff so it looks like we've got a nice little plastic cover dropping stuff on the floor we've got a figure and let's take a look at this portrait real quick like see this guy's out that actually looks surprisingly actually pretty freaking good that's that's actually i'm actually impressed I don't get impressed often with third-party portraits and hands. Sometimes they, they show up a little soft. Um, but this one, that looks pretty good. We'll get a close-up on that and the suit and everything. Let's just get all the accessories out of here. Looks like we've got uh, his mask, which we'll uh, definitely be using that. Uh, when we get around, we get a couple hands. Looks like we get four extra hands. We'll get these guys out of the package. And looks like we got a display base underneath on a separate tray. You always got to fiddle with these things to get them out of the package. We've got his quiver. Oh, okay. We've got a couple of different parts of a quiver. We'll have the some assembly required, it appears. And then holy bunch of arrows, Batman. That was that was a that was a DC reference. Uh oh. Almost forgot these little guys. Those were kind of in the package as well, so we gotta figure out where they go. And uh yeah, it's like we've got a whole bunch of stuff on the look at all those arrows. Holy crap. That's almost as many, or might be as many as the um, in-game uh, Hawkeye Ronin set, right? That, that thing had, I just reposed that one in the collection room and uh, I remember it having a pile of them and uh, we'll see how this all works out. I'm expecting these to go flying everywhere or is it taped? Ah, it's taped, okay, it's taped. So I'm gonna have to get something to cut that off, but yeah. Let's, uh, let me get all this stuff out of here. Be right back. All right, so that actually took a, a good minute to get all these accessories out of the packaging because there are a there's a there's a lot there's a lot of a lot of stuff here uh, for a third party figure to have this many accessories and a lot of these actually just go on the actual figure and store there versus having to have them stowed away in some kind of container, which uh, is pretty nice. So let's just take a look at all these. We've got a display base, which uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, nice little raised, almost like a diamond plate pattern. I guess it's like a diamond plate pattern. And uh, it actually is raised, so you got a little texture going on there. And the paint applications are pretty nice. Got some blood splatter on there. So uh, that's cool. That's not bad. I mean, the green paint, the shading, the shadows and everything, I think they did a decent job on the base. It's got some, you know, it, it feels substantial. That's fine. Uh, normal little waist grabber, waist support deal going on right there. So nothing crazy with that. Not going to get any dynamic poses or flights, jumping anything like out of this thing, but you know, there's that. So that's fine. We do get this. Uh, this was, they came in all these little baggies. We got like baggies of everything, um, but got these little guys. No idea what the hell these are. Uh, to be quite honest with you, they look like mouse turds uh, with silver tips. That's kind of what they look like and, it, and about this, the right size. So uh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, but I'm sure there's something, maybe a grenade or distraction of some kind. Uh, you CW fans out there, you can absolutely let me know uh, what the hell that is. I have no idea. But <laughs> it does come with that. It has like little baggies of these larger uh, darts. These larger darts uh, actually pretty nicely painted. They are... Even though they're larger, they're tiny. Nice little detail though. Nice little silver paint going in there. Uh, detail on the uh, the back end as well. And so you get, I don't know, six of these or seven of these. 
and uh, these little guys, and they are they are super sm small. Uh, but we have these other ones that are even smaller that are right here, and, and these are so tiny. I'm trying to zoom in so I can give you guys a closer look. Um, but so, so small. And to give you guys a comparison, here is a normal six scale hand. To give you an idea of just how tiny that little guy is. And uh, yeah, kind of cool. So those still weigh on the actual figure. So we'll take a look at that in, uh, in just a second. We'll get it all put together. So we got those, we got those, we got some hands. We got six hands, two on the actual figure and then four extras there, including the packaging that you saw in the unboxing. Nice little detail here. Uh, this little green pattern kind of uh, follows the suit, which uh, is nice. Nice little black glove fingers on the bottom. Not a whole lot of detail going on there. I mean, it's, it's nicely sculpted, but it's not like an overly detailed painted hand. Um, it looks like we got like an open grasping hand on a right uh, and a left. And then we've got a bow string pulling hand right here. Nicely sculpted as well. And then like a bow uh, carrying hand right there or holding hand of whatever you want to hold. So there's that. And then two fisted hands actually on the, on the figure. We do get a mask, which I will 100% be using this on my figure because I just think he looks a lot cooler with a mask. So clearly, if you have this on, you cannot identify the subject. You know, Batman and Robin people, Clark Kent, Superman. Uh, so uh, there's that. This is actually nicely done. It's a nice little peg back here. This is going to be a pain in the butt to take on and off. I can see this breaking if you, like, unclasp it multiple times. I can definitely see that breaking. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's, it's not fragile, but it's just... I don't know. I can just see that being a, a problem in the future. We do get a bow which looks really good actually. So uh, I've actually just recently posed up my Ronin figure with the bow. Um, this one's not as detailed as that one, as the Hot Toys version, but this is, it's fine. I don't have any issues with this, uh, but looking at, let's see if we can get down here and get down to the nitty gritty here. Um, nice little green um, applications into the grip right there. Uh, nice little silver wash going on, no issues with that. Nice paint applications. And then the rest of it's just pretty much black uh, molded plastic. So there's that. But I think they did a pretty good job for that, being the scale it is and what it is. Nice little string, got a little pop to it. And uh, yeah, I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. I think they did a pretty fine job. So there's that. Then we got a whole pile of arrows. So we're going to have the quiver, which actually comes in two parts. I made the mistake of putting the quiver together before putting the arrows in. So that was fun. It did take a little bit of uh, force. There's, there's six pegs. There's peg holes right there, six pegs uh, on the opposite side. And mine didn't want to close perfectly. Like it was a little bit of a gap. And so I had to force it in there a little bit. So that kind of sucked. Uh, and then I had to go take it apart because I was like, oh, well, I've got to put the arrows in there first. So I had to take it apart. So hopefully maybe it goes back together easier the second time. I don't know. Um, these arrows right here have no arrowheads on them. They snap into these grooves just fine. They don't, I don't think there's any issues with that. And then we got some straps. It is nicely done. I think the paint applications on this are really well, uh, really well done. You got a nice little black border right here. You've got his uh, arrow uh, signal thing going on right here, like the, uh, the feathers. And then on the other side, we've got pretty much the strap that goes there. And then these kind of just peg in just like so. See if I can do this. And I did have a use a decent amount of pressure to get those together the way I wanted them to. And I think even after that, like you see, like it doesn't really want to go all the way together. Maybe if I keep fiddling with it, maybe if I heat it up, something like that, but yours may do the same thing. I don't know. So there's that. And then we got a pile of arrows that actually have arrowheads on them. And these are fine too. I don't really have any issues with that. I got two of these extra ones with no uh, tips on them. So there's that. So that's all the accessories. Now I'm gonna try to put all this stuff that's supposed to go on the figure on the figure and uh, we'll check out that portrait. All right guys, let's take a look at this portrait, which is quite, it's quite good. And it, it's like the detail on it is sharp, crisp, paint applications look good. The, uh, the beard looks good. I think they did a fine job with that. It's actually sculpted in. Uh, you can actually feel how rough that is. They actually sculpted the beard and it's not just painted on which is a nice touch. And then you can see like the expression. I think the expression is fine. I don't have an issue with that. Uh, the eyes look good and the paint application on the hair uh, looks just fine. I, I don't think there's anything crazy. It's not like 14 layers of paint on the hair like some of the other figures we've seen, but it, um, it actually is just sufficient. But the suit itself, uh, the suit itself looks quite 
quite good, honestly. Uh, you can see all the tailoring. The, the deep, like hunter green, uh, is fantastic. The tailoring and the different materials they use on the suit is works as well. This is more like a uh, like a span. I don't say spandex, but it's, it's a flexible material, nylon, I guess, if you would. Some pleather material, some nylon, and then these little buttons down the side. I forgot to show you this. You actually get a whole nother baggie of those guys if they happen to come loose, which chances are, if you maneuver your figure around enough, uh, they may come unglued. Uh, which is it's just fine. It's part of maneuvering figures. One thing I did notice as I was putting on these little guys right here, these have different tips on them. So this one's got like a little open grip. That one's got, a, I mean, they just have different ones all throughout. And I didn't expect that. They're not all the same. So I don't know if they go in a particular order or whatever. But the instructions say they go there. So that's what I put them there. And it works fine. The uh, quiver on the back looks fantastic. It actually just bolts uh, around here and then underneath right here, this little slat right here, there's like a gap where the uh, strap goes underneath on both sides and it pegs right in right here and right here. It's just fine. I, I think they did a fine job with that. I think it looks great. The green on the arrows looks great. I, you know, I, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of the show. Watched the first and second season. Uh, after that, I just kind of lost interest. Um, but I think this one... Uh, I think this looks pretty good. I know he had a number of suits. I don't recall exactly which season this suit is from, but uh, whatever it is, I think it looks fine. It's going to look good on the shelf and have a lot of fun posing it. Uh, going down here, we've got some nice armor plate right here with that um, material, nylon material right here. Gaps here uh, for posing, I'm assuming. That, that'll give us a nice little m movement here. So we should have double joint uh, on the elbow. So that's going to be good. The arms go up. And I like that they use this material on these joints. So you don't have any issues uh, like of creasing or anything like that. You can see it right there. There's, there's not going to be any issues of that whatsoever. Uh, but it'll go up pretty far. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to be able to get it ahead of him. But you can. there's a slight ratchet. You can kind of see it on the camera right there. Slight ratchet there on the shoulder. Uh, I think that's going to be fine. And we're going to be able to get it up high enough to get him like, uh, you know, where he should be uh, sh shooting an arrow. So that would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, there, I think that's fine. As far as the articulation on here, I'm not expecting a whole lot here on ab crunch, probably get some good torso twists. So no issues with that, right? But ab crunch probably gonna be a little bit limited just due to the material uh, right there. So I think that's fine going backwards. Oh, wow. Okay, we can go, we, we just broke his back. So that's cool. <laughs> Not really. He actually does that. Um, that's kind of cool. So it's, it's a pretty good, let's see if I can bend him right here again. Uh, you can actually see down into there uh, to that body. And yeah, there's that. If anybody wants to know what that looks like. So pretty uh, pretty loose there. I think you can get some good range of motion out of it. It's going down, uh, this is where the little, uh, the longer uh, arrows or daggers or whatever those things are, they go there. And then the, I'm sorry, the smaller ones go there. The longer ones go on this side. And I think it looks fine. I like the little green uh, darts that's got going on there. I think that looks pretty good. Um, on this one issue I've had is these things, they're, don't, they're friction fit. And I haven't seen a way to actually tighten them yet. Uh, so these, just maneuvering this around, this is going to fall down often, and that's kind of an annoyance. Um, but uh, I guess once you get them where you want them and you leave it, they're probably not going to fall. It's just when you're handling it. Uh, double bend on the knee. No issues with that whatsoever. Again, they've got that material in the kneecap uh, and behind the knee, so you can have no issues of posing. That's going to be kind of nice. As far as width of legs, it'll go pretty good um, because right here is that stretchy material. And you're gonna have no issues with that. So overall, like the the engineering, I guess, if you will, for lack of a better word, of this figure, I think they did a really good job on that. Um, other than uh, this little section here, which is kind of annoying. Velcro would be a good touch for this. Maybe I might go do that. I might add a touch of Velcro just to eliminate that sliding because it's just annoyance. Um, going down the belt, or uh, the boots, I'm sorry. It is split cut boots, so plenty of range of motion on that. On the feet, pretty slick, nothing issues there. No. Uh, toe articulation, anything there. Um, but the portrait, I mean, just getting back to this thing, they absolutely nailed this portrait. They did a really, really good job. This zipper will go down if you want it to. Don't see any reason to. Um, the hood is on a wire. So if we can get this thing up. Yeah, it is on a wire. It is posable. So we can kind of get that dark, moody look, uh, which we're obviously going to throw in the, uh, the mask to make that happen. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw the mask on there. Let me get that down. Because I'm 100% going to display mine with the mask. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to unbuckle it to get it to go on. But maybe I'll get lucky and I won't have to do that. 
Uh, no, we're gonna have to unbuckle it. So let me, let me do that. All right, guys. So as we got the green vigilante on the uh, turntable here, look at this thing. As he spins around, I want you guys to get a just pretty good look at this pose I've got him in. Uh, the arrow uh, doesn't want to cooperate. It keeps falling down due to gravity, but that's fine. We can, we can manage that. But look at this. This thing looks freaking cool. I really do dig that very much. That looks great, right? So if I back this thing up, you can see the pose. Look at that. That is a solid, solid pose. And uh, it took a little bit of finagling, to be quite honest with you. Uh, with the lower half of the body. So this knee, this leg is restricted by the suit material. So, I mean, that's to be expected for what it is. The side uh, holsters, I guess, if you will, for the darts uh, continually want to fall down. So I'll definitely have to uh, remedy that situation with some Velcro of some kind. And then, uh, but other than that, if I can get this guy, get back, get, get back up there. There we go. Now I fixed it. Um, honestly, it looks pretty good. And I, I'm pretty happy with this pose. It didn't take too terribly long to knock that out. But uh, I'll zoom back out so you guys can get a look. Not horrible, right? Not horrible. Uh, so pretty good range of motion on being able to get this leg down here and that ankle flat. So that was good. Uh, the stand I've actually used, because he's a little off balance, so I use that pole back there to just kind of support him so it doesn't fall backwards. The ability to get this elbow up that high is actually quite impressive. It's really, really quite impressive. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And you can see all the little detail going on with this suit. So I think they did a really good job with this. So uh, I think the next thing we need to do, just do a couple poses. You guys can let me know which pose you like the best. Uh, but I think this is a pretty good release. And I'm super excited to see what else they come up with uh, in the near future. But I'm going to have to get that uh, CW Flash from Hot Toys and kind of pair these guys up. Um, but I think that right there looks pretty good to me. All right, guys, so let's move on to this next pose. And we've got... Green Arrow, Oliver Queen, reaching back into the quiver for when well, he needs an arrow because he, he, that's what you need, right? So I think this is pretty cool. Not uh, not too difficult to get his pose off. Uh, the one difficulty is actually choosing a hand that works because he doesn't really have like an open fisted hand. Pretty much just has uh, the fisted hands, a relaxed hand, which doesn't really work. So I use the uh, string pulling hand. Uh, I'm sure there's a technical term for that in the archery world. Um, and I decided to use that. But I think this pose, if I spin him back around this way, I think that works. You guys can let me know. But I, I feel like that that works pretty good. we got a pretty wide stance right here. Again, I had to fiddle with these stupid uh, straps right here. And I pulled them up and they keep slipping down. So it's a thing. Uh, so that's an annoyance. But like I said earlier, if you pose it and you leave it, I don't guess it really matters. But here I am handling the figure. Uh, a good bit. But uh, if we swing this guy back around, plenty of range of motion, just like we saw in the previous pose. Elbows go up high, shoulders go up high. I don't see any issues with that. The one thing I would be concerned with, and I, you know, we don't know, this is still kind of, you know, brand new, um, is will the mask and will the hood, specifically the mask, will the mask actually stain the portrait? Are we going to have any issues with that? So I'm curious to see how that works out over time. Um, because it's really good and I would hate for that to happen. But, um, I guess if you never take it off, I don't guess it really matters, but I can already tell you mine, uh, the back clasp has already come loose, just kind of messing with it. Uh, so I know that's a thing, but, um, yeah, I think this is a, it's a pretty solid release. I say pretty solid release, uh, ankle movement. Uh, one thing you want to be mindful of when you're posing this guy They've done a good job giving us a split cut boot, if I move this around, but you want to see where the uh, laces, if you will, you want to try to line those up the best you can, and they do rotate on the shin, so it's not too difficult to do, but while you're posing it, you want to try and pay attention to that, uh, otherwise it might look kind of weird, um, but... Pretty stoked with this. Again, I'm gonna throw some more poses up on Instagram, it's probably where we're gonna put this. I just released the Snake Eyes video, and uh, we've got our rescue armors coming up very soon. We're gonna be doing that figure, and uh, super excited to have some more Marvel figures. So, and Sozo Toys, literally just as I'm recording this, made a post on their page on Facebook about Shazam. And you guys know I've been talking about Shazam for like a freaking year. And uh, looks like they might actually make that happen. So, you know, right on, right? <laughs> so we'll see. 
We'll see how, they, I mean, if they do it as well as the um, John Lander looks as far as the suit and the body, and they nail the portrait, then we're in good shape. And I think that'd be pretty exciting. So if anything, there's some six scale news for you inside of an unboxing and review video. But let me know if you'd like to pick this guy up, if you already picked this guy up, and if you're enjoying these 30 party uh, figure reviews, let me know by, uh, about that by hitting the like button and comment down below your thoughts on the green vigilante. Cause I think it looks pretty freaking cool. So there we go, guys. As always, click what you like. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. Like, do that. I'm going to spin this guy around. Look at that. Dang. Anyways, see ya.